Last year, I lost two friends that had a big influence on me in my life. One was a fellow called Milton Taylor, and the other was Phil Garland. Milton Taylor was a balladeer, a bush poet from Australia, uh, and Phil Garland, of course, wrote lots of songs and ballads for New Zealand. I knew them both very well, and in particular, uh, Milton Taylor had a major influence on my life as a balladeer, a bush poet, as did Phil Garland. So this poem is for both of those boys, but in this particular case, it was Milton that came back and gave me a tip. And this story is called The Akubra. An Akubra was his signature. He would be lost without it, just like many others, it was always on his head. He used it as a semaphore acknowledging old friendships. He waved it all about to emphasise what he had said. To the uninitiated, he might seem a dreamer, but when he was on stage, he had dignity and poise. And once you got to know him, a shearer in his young days, he became a cobber, one of those special boys. He never did a lot of things that he spoke about, but if you listened to him, you would think he'd done them all. His stories of the outback, his love of wild ponies, his dog, his mates, his family, were all in his recall. Above all, he had stories, and his need to share them was the thing that brought much pleasure to us all. In a rhyming couplet, the balladeer inside him could weave a magic spell around us all. There was laughter always present from those who listened to him, but a tear would just as quickly follow too, when emotions he could pull on would make the hardy buckle, when a pain that broke his heart was put in view. And the ballads he recited, if they belonged to others, would always be acknowledged as they should. If it was turbulence or banjo with the man from Snowy River, he would from memory recite them as he could. But then one day it happened, the lonesome reaper took him, and we lost our favoured balladeer. But he came back to help me when I stumbled in performance of a poem I was telling to a group who came to hear. It was just a fleeting vision, but I saw his old Akubra. He was smiling underneath it when he said, the word you need is love, mate. And I finished my performance as he tipped his old Akubra on his head. His ghost had come to help me maintain the old tradition that a balladeer possesses in the chat. And if ever love is missing from the words of my performance, I will find it underneath that Aussie hat.